Hi, Ranjini. It's such a pleasure to have you here with us. Congratulations on being named a top 25 leading women entrepreneur. Uh, let's just start with, you know, telling us a little bit about your company and uh, how you started it. Sure. Thank you for having me. It's wonderful. Um, I'm Ranjini Podar, co-founder and CEO of Artec. And um, Artec is the largest women-owned IT staffing firm in the U.S. We do over 400 million of revenues across the globe. Uh, we operate primarily in the U.S., India, and China and we have about 7,500 employees. I started the firm along with my husband back in 1992. We were both looking to do something that was business related and I was in law school at the time and he had just finished business school and he had worked in the IT industry as a consultant. So that's where we kind of got the, the idea from. And there was a huge demand for IT um, services. It was just kind of starting. We were very early in terms of the whole, um, you know, pr prior to the dot com and prior to I IT outsourcing. Um, so, you know, that was sort of the beginning of the idea. So the idea was born. I mean, you are representative of so many women's dreams of, you know, having an idea and then growing it to a $400 million company. What do you think some of the keys were that you implemented that made you so successful? Um, I think there were different keys at every stage of our development. Uh, when I, I joined Artec back again full time in 1999, so over the last 17 years, you know, we've grown from being a $6 million firm to over 400 million and everything the same thing doesn't isn't needed at, at every stage of development when you're 6 million then you're focused more on getting customers and then as you get a little bit bigger then you're focused more on developing a team and then you get a little bit bigger than that and then you're focused more on developing a leadership team mm. and then you're focused on developing middle management so i think at every stage of our evolution it's been a focus on different areas that's really propelled us to the next stage of growth. Yeah, but that's a great breakdown and a great you know map for people who are at different levels. So thank you right. for sharing that. How do you keep innovation constant in this environment that you've created? Oh, I think our, both our customers and the industry fo uh, force innovation, not just, you know, it, it doesn't come just internally from us, mm -hmm. but their technology creates so much change that it's very difficult to stay static and still be successful. Mm -hmm. You constantly have to look at what is the impact change in technology is having in your industry, what are your customers looking for that may be different than what they looked for you know, five years ago, and where is the industry g going? So right now, what's very big is basically a shortage of IT talent, mm -hmm. and all of our customers at, are looking at how do they solve that problem, and part of the, you know, conversation is around sort of this gig economy and gig workers, which is an even more, you know, um, innovative concept than the what the industry has undergone in the last 20 years. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how that all develops. Incredible, right? You gotta always keep moving. Yeah, you yeah. do. So your favorite part, your strengths within the business, your personal strength, what have you what do you think you contribute most and what is your biggest challenge at the moment? In terms of my strengths, I think I'm very, I, I've been, I've, I understand the business completely and sometimes to a fault where, you know, I know what everyone's job is and perhaps can want to tell them how to do it. But I think the strength is more around being able to execute. Um, you know, I'm very execution focused. If there is an idea that someone brings to the table, I'm always shifting gears to see, okay, how can it be implemented or can it be implemented? Because in my opinion, a lot of folks have ideas and plans, but um, companies really succeed when they are able to execute on those plans and ideas. In terms of our challenges and obstacles, um, I think it's common to everyone. You know, how do you find and develop good talent? Um, it's That's really what holds all organizations back in terms of their growth and development. So, you know, it's, I don't think anyone has a secret sauce. You have to keep on experimenting and keep getting looking. the right, yeah. Mm -hmm. So last question, our theme is celebrating the unstoppable. And I want, I would like to ask what makes you unstoppable? 
Oh, I'm unstoppable because I'm undeterred. Um, I, you know, I don't let rejection or something that didn't go well, you know, stop me. I keep on going and I find the motivation to succeed in myself. So. Well, absolutely you have. And we are so excited to have you uh, as a part of this class and can't wait to recognize you on November 14th at the Liberty House. So welcome to Leading Women Entrepreneurs and we hope to work with you more. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much too.